nod special recognition to our operations manager rachel quayle who's behind the scenes today and special thanks and blessings to the council who are present and they have dropped the word council in the chat so everybody go in and see who your council is and connect with us through social media it is our honor to know you and to link arms with you and to serve you. My name is Rebecca Johns. I am a proud council member of the Million Mom Movement. I really apologize because I stabbed myself with mascara in my eye getting ready for this call. So if I look like I'm weeping prematurely or absurdly, just know that that's what's going on. That's what's going on. I'm really self-conscious. So I just thought I would help you all have a little icebreaker and be self-conscious with me. All right, good. Good looking out. All right. So, you know, every week we come together with these fabulous conversations. We bring the topics that you ask us to bring from the field. So please keep communicating to us what's important to you so that we can address it each week among ourselves on the council, but also with special guests like we have today who will be introduced momentarily. The Million Mom Movement is about empowering you moms, dads, caregivers, educators, influencers, to spread the movement of health and wealth sovereignty. And the Million Mom Movement is a holistic support system, activism arm and outreach body that supports the people we've just named and their families and communities to become aware of the rights that they have about the systems that are at play and the way they can optimally maneuver possibly by being aware of what's going on in the world. And of course, one of our core tenets is our partnership with Purium Health Products. And that's the company, the transformation company that hands out these lovely $50 gift cards to online superfood stores so that people can begin to transform their health through nutrition. I personally used to have diabetes, now I don't. I used to have IBS, now I don't. I have released 150 pounds and all because Purium Superfoods and a holistically well lifestyle is something that I adopted. And we don't just think that about health, we think it about wealth. We believe that you have the right to access a transformational system that will empower your wealth as well. So our special guests are going to be diving into that today with their interviewer, our special counsel lady, uh, Taz Ferreira in Canada, coming to us live. Hey, sister. But first, I want to turn the call over to Nayeva Flory in Hawaii, who's going to talk to us a little bit more about our history. And keep your eyes on the chat because we will be plunking in different notes or websites and links that you're going to want to have access to. So keep your eye on that chat so you can take special notes, okay? Thanks for being with us, everybody. God bless and enjoy the next hour. Awesome. Take Thank you away, so Nayama. much. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. I'm over here on the island of Hawaii, so it's still early here. It might be afternoon, so good afternoon for those of you who are in other time zones. Um, I just want to share a little bit with you about how this Fierce Friday movement started. We really started as a way to connect together because when we connect together and we support each other, we can accomplish so much more. And we saw that so many of the people in the Purium community are a part of the Million Mom movement, but they may not even know it yet or have a way to plug into the movement that we have in our hands. So we wanted to have a way to bring us all together. And that's where Fierce Friday was born. We started having calls weekly and just having a lot of fun meeting the community, sharing our passion here. And we pivoted. Stephanie had an experience with her own son and with Cheerios specifically that um, really came close to her heart of wanting to share with more moms the effects that our food has on our health. And so with that, she had an amazing idea to have a letter writing campaign. And so we launched a letter writing campaign back in January and we started writing letters to General Mills and the responses we were getting were very um, just, you know, not, not personal responses. They felt like really just computer automated responses that didn't really, like nobody really read the letters or didn't touch anybody's heart. And so we felt like we needed to pivot and find 
a new way to reach these people at General Mills. The other issue that we found is as moms, we're all so busy. We have a million things we're juggling and writing a letter often falls to the back burner and often may not even happen. And so we decided to start a petition. Petition is a lot easier. All you have to do is click a button, put in your email and you're good to go. And so I wanna let you all know, um, we started this petition back in the summertime and we are probably about one third of the way to our first thousand signatures and we would like to reach that thousand signatures by the end of this year and so if you could please help us share this petition how we will go ahead and drop the link here in the comments and you can also find it on the million mom movement page i have an event that is specifically has the petition link within that event. So you can either invite people to the event to come sign the petition, or you can just grab the link and go send it to your friends and invite them to sign the petition and become a part of our Million Mom movement, or just learn a little bit more about the effects of glyphosate on our food and specifically in Cheerios. And that's why our initial campaign is towards General Mills and specifically asking them to remove uh, glyphosate from our Cheerios um, and other popular children foods. So we will be um, pivoting, you know, continually and adding more petitions to our movement. So if there's things that you're particularly fond of, you know, our company is going plastic free. We have this petition to remove glyphosate from our food. We'd like to have petitions that, you know, remove food coloring from our food and other additives and pesticides, but we have to start somewhere. So this is the first step. Please participate, sign our petition and share it far and, far and wide. Thank you so much for being here today. And I can't wait to hear this awesome interview with Jane and Joel. Aloha everyone. Hey everyone, my name is Carmela Velarde. I am part of the council as well, and I'm a blue diamond with a company out in Pennsylvania. So we're bouncing around the country right now with our hosts. And I'm really excited to share about the Million Mom Movement Scholarship. So for those of you who do not know we have them, please go to our website and go under the scholarships tab. You're gonna find a lot of really great detailed information about, and this is the part of our economic empowerment campaign, correct? So. In our community, we have a wonderful offering. I'm so proud of our company and the owners that have um, really devoted themselves to helping families in the United States and Canada with economic need. So what do you receive with the scholarship? Well, apart from $2,500 worth in our organic Purium Superfood products, which is a lifestyle education in six months time, you can truly see that you will be able within six months with a a wonderful coach, upline support mentor, who will walk you through that. But you'll also be receiving business mentorship through our launch pack, which is $199 value. So I really am excited to share that we offer an economic empowerment opportunity for anyone who wants to apply. We actually offer four a month. So that's a huge dedication from our company and our owners. And as the council, we're here to support them. We actually hosted our business power hour that we have every single month. It's the third Wednesday of every month. So put that on your calendar for the future for all the recipients. We welcome them there to do a focused business training and it's open to the whole field. So all brand partners are welcome. So please do take a look at our website and make a list maybe of some people whom you um, that can think of that would really benefit from these amazing scholarships. I'm going to pass it over to now. Is it, is it um, Taz? Taz is going to be introducing our interviewer, our interview guests. Take it over, Taz. Thank you so much, Carmela. Okay, so today we have the privilege to be interviewing my mentors, Jane and Joel Calandrillo. Okay, so they've, I list a backstory. They've been with Purium for over 16 years. I think they're going into the 17th year in March and they are a powerhouse duo, okay? So they will be sharing how they built their empire on superfoods while homeschooling their son, Max. So I, I leave it up to you, Jane and Joel, please come on and share of how you did it. 
Well, thank you so much for having us as guests, uh, Taz, and actually everyone on the council. Uh, I think it is the most amazing initiative between uh, trying to reach companies like General Mills, as well as providing such amazing scholarships and everything that this movement is doing is just so incredible. So thank you so much for having us as guests. Um, let me tell you, the company evolved so much and it's just an incredible evolution happened since we first started. Um, I wasn't the first to join. My husband was the first to join and he will tell a little bit how different the company was back then. Um, right now, we are in a, in a time of, of that never, we, we have never experienced this type of time. So we're juggling with our children at home, um, online doing school. You know, when I was homeschooling Max, it was by choice. Um, that's something that homeschooling parents decide to do. So they plan out their day um, accordingly. You know, my son was only homeschooling for about three to four hours a day. And then I would create a time block Oh, okay, well, my son is going to school from 9 to 12, and then from then we'll have lunch, and then from 1 o'clock to about 3, 4 o'clock, I will be focusing on the business. Uh, and then my whole entire family, time blocking is so important because it's not just organizing me, it's organizing my whole family knows. My son knew, my husband knew that this is the time for the business. And um, right now, I want everyone to give themselves grace because uh, some moms didn't choose for their children to be online uh, schooling. Uh, they're doing their best that they can right now. And so give yourself grace, but also allow yourself at that time period, that time blocking where you know your whole family knows that this is your time for focus. There's too many distractions between the social media, the news and everything that's going on. So give yourself that grace, but at the same time, give yourself that block of time to focus on the business. What do you think, Joel? Yeah, well, I, I want to first out, you know, start by saying, you know, thank you, Taz, Rebecca, John, Stephanie. Who else do we have? Nativa? Uh, Nayeva. Nayeva. Nayeva, that was great. You girls are doing such great things and so happy that this actually exists, the Million Mom Movement. You have to get Jane a little bit more involved. We need her to get a little <laughs> bit more busier. So uh, like you mentioned before, yeah. yeah, being you know with the company for so long, Dave and Amy, it was always close to their heart. Like their vision is connected to their heart with Purium. Things like you know having certain charities involved and you know, with what Dave's doing with the Awaken project. And just, we're a very special company. We're really, truly a family-based business with all of us. I consider all of you a family. I don't look at anyone as the upline, the downline, the sideline, like other companies that I was involved with in the, in the past. We're all like one team, one great team. And, you know, being able to be in a family environment, it's so easy to build. And anyone that's stumbling has stumbling blocks right now with building the business, you're always welcome to reach out to us or, you know, we could always give you a little bit of insight on what we're doing. And we're going to talk a little bit about that now. And the key to building your business, because we want to know what works, right, is consistency. Now, someone like Eric Mish, he's super consistent and he'll be the first to tell you my quote, which is don't be resistant to being consistent. So what we've done to close, you know, close to 17 years right now has been consistent. The way we've built, we didn't have the tools that all of you have right now. When we started the company, the catalog was like a joke. You know, you, you I didn't even really want to give it out. We, the website, you would not believe what the website looked like. We didn't have gift cards. We didn't have an app. We didn't have the products that we have right now with the great flavors, everything. If you aren't a purist, you are not using Purium. If you gave a Purium product to the average Joe, they were not taking Purium. Health foods, holistic lifestyle was not popular 17 years ago. They didn't understand it. They didn't want to be involved with it. Everyone was about fast foods, you know, just grab and go, simple stuff. Now, over the last couple of years, there's such an awareness. Everyone has a woke right now. 
everyone on this call today, this Zoom, you are really in the right place at the right time for what you're doing. If you have any problem, believe me, it's nothing like what we have. So if you think about what you have right now, you could really put your foot down on the gas pedal right now and go. We have everything working for you. I know like New York and New Jersey in the next week or so, they're getting ready to go into full lockdown, full shutdown again. What are people doing for their plan B? What are they doing for their safety net? They could join with all of us and join, you know, and have a wonderful, wonderful Purian business sidelines what, with whatever they're doing. They're working from home with their regular job. It's easy to put an hour to two hours a day into Purium and take the weekends off. Put in five to 10 hours a week, start light, have your products paid for, and build an empire over the next five, 10, 15 years. Other companies just do not have what we have as far as the leadership, the ownership, you know, Dave and Amy, the board that we're on right now, you know, the Million Mom movement, you know, they don't have, you don't see companies having girls like you you know, kind of putting the word out there and making things happen. You know, we have the Millennial Advisory Board and I hear through the grapevine, there's some new boards that are gonna be coming out that are really, really cool in the next couple of weeks. Actually, maybe they might be closer to a month. So getting back to what works, you know, it's very simple. We're lucky to have Leslie on board right now. She's working with pretty much everyone from the associates up to the crowns. So, and everyone in between. Take advantage of her. Look at what she's doing, listen to what she's saying, and put into action what she's teaching. Because you could only learn from someone like her. She's done it before. She's been successful in network marketing, and she trains seven-figure income earners outside of Purium. If you want to go far with your business, you're going to take the appropriate steps to doing what needs to be done to get it done. And people like us in our family, we make it a family business. We look at what's going on in the world right now. We look past it. We look at the positive. We live in the now. We're not worried about what happened yesterday, and we don't care about what's going to happen tomorrow, You know, meaning in a negative sense, what's the negativity that's out there. We're keeping everything positive, and that's what Purium equals positivity. Okay, We have what people want. Again, we know what works. We know how to build Purium. Everyone here on this Zoom really knows what to do. But have you done it? Have you taken the appropriate steps to go forward? You know, have you done the right things to make your business successful? You know, that's what this is all about. Even the Zoom right now, we're doing it every day. We haven't stopped. We're not in management mode. I'm recruiting people. I'm putting a gym in today at five o'clock our time. Uh, I was on the pickleball courts this morning. I spoke to two new customers that are coming on board. So I'm constantly recruiting. I'm always out there trying to close people on Purium, Purium, using the app, you know, really getting things done. So I could sit here and talk for a while, but I know they want to ask us some questions. So go ahead, Taz, take it away. Thank you so much, Joel. Everything you're saying, it's major golden nuggets, okay? Consistency, one to two hours a day, time blocking. I think these are all skills that we need to implement in our lives. So a question I have for you, I know you were talking about when you started 17 years ago, it was catalogs and you've been doing this part time. This is, I think we need to stress that you built this empire part time hours. When was the moment that Jane decided to jump in? Cause I know this was mainly for Joel and then <laughs> Jane became part of this. Tell us a little bit about that, Jane. Well, that's a great question. So there are two aspects to to um, two main aspects that drove me to really jump in uh, full time in this. Number one, I saw an amazing involvement in a company, like Joel said, that had made it very accessible to someone like me because I am not a health coach. Um, I didn't have any nutritional degree and. For a long time, Purium was a type of company that was very difficult to build for somebody who is not an, a health coach. Um, they made it very, very easy for a mom like me. They gave, they started to provide the tools that I found. I was like, this is something that I can do now. This is easy for me to do. That was number one. Number two, 
I know we're, we're, we're a very mission driven company, but I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Okay. And don't judge me when I started to see financial fruit. Okay. When I started to see, wow, we're really making real income with this. Like I can, you know, fully, I've always shared. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. I've always shared the product and opportunity, but when I started to really focus on it is when I started to see a fruit of his, of his labor, as they say. And that is the key for anyone who's trying to get their spouse on board. Uh, the key is if you're staying consistent, they will respect your hustle, okay? They will take it more seriously. If they see you, you know, back and forth, one, one week you're doing it, another week you're not doing it, they're not going to take your hustle seriously because you're not taking it seriously, okay? And that's what Joel did. He's always been consistent, like he said. Uh, then they need to see some results. When they start seeing results, then they're going to be a lot more supportive. That's just the truth. You know, you guys, I, wanna, I don't want to sugarcoat. That's just the truth. When they start seeing paychecks, when they start seeing that you're starting to pay your bills with it, that you can send your kids to camp, that you can, they see results, then they start to be much more supportive because now, okay, this, this, Hey, my wife, my, my girlfriend, she's a, she's a business woman. Like she is taking this seriously and she's rocking it. I'm going to get on board with that as well. So that was my turning point when I started to see the fruit. And when the company had become more with their tools and everything that they put together, the packs, we didn't have the, the packs before. Um, it, when I, even when I started already working this, much more seriously we only had a 10-day transformation we didn't even have the then 40 and now it's a 30-day transformation but that is to say to you guys that everything that purium does only improves like if you will you know stick with it consistently a year from now you're going to look back and say oh my gosh look at the amazing changes that they had done, they're always improving. That Amy's in, in her mind, that's all she, because we get on crown calls and she, that's all they think about, how we can improve, how we can make this better for our brand partners, okay? How can they, our brand partners can benefit financially more? They think about that all the time without compromising the integrity of the ingredients. So it's, not, it's not always easy. Sometimes it's a challenge to stick with the purity of the ingredients, but still making sure that the brand partners succeed and, and really start making money with this. So, yeah. And the third part of that, she forgot to mention, I did have to twist her arm a little bit. <laughs> I, I had to like, you know, basically twist it a little bit and say, Jane, and these are the words I used. I need your help. I need your help. The organ this is true. The organization is growing. There's tons of emails coming in every day. Tons of text messages coming in day. Tons of phone calls coming in every day. So I need some assistance. Please Jane help me and she did. Okay. He didn't really have to bag me like this, but he did make it make it like okay, clear. Do you want to be making this X amount of money a month, we're making this, we're already seeing fruits. I was like, yes. I was like, then step up. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she thought she would leave that out. I had a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So yeah, well, so basically this what, what that says to me is that you could ask, you know, you could also ask for help from your spouse. Yes, please. Okay. That's another point to that. So this is a perfect segue into my next question. Okay, usually I get questions of women trying to get their husbands, right? What is an advice that you would get, you would give to a brand partner that they'd say, how do we show our husbands that we're serious? That's a serious business. What advice do you have for them? Well, Joe, what steps 
this is a good question for Joel. What do you think? Yeah, throw it to me. And, <laughs> no, but, but seriously, what do you think is like, what, what stuff you're... did you do to get yeah. me more involved? If your spouse knows that you're serious and you're all in and 100 percent dedicated and you really ask them from the bottom of your heart, I need your help. And this is what's going to happen. A to B to C. If you help me help them understand it and also show them some other couples that are doing it. And everyone is familiar on the Zoom with network marketing, right? Everyone knows what network marketing is. We're in network marketing. Some of the most powerful seven figure income earners are husband and wife teams that do it together. There's something really special about a husband and wife team. The husband may deal with more of the men that are in the business. The women, you know, the wives may deal more with the females that are in the business or vice versa. It never, there's different fits, there's different personalities, there's different colors. Like I'm a red, she's definitely a blue. A blue. <laughs> so you can wear it in our shirts. So the color personality code, you know, so I deal better. I deal better with some of her friends dealing with the business. And she actually works with some of my friends that are in the business because she just relates better with them. So as a team, right together, everyone achieves more T E A M as a team, a unit, a wife and husband, your business will grow more healthy, more strong, more powerful, and you'll have more success. So if the spouse understands that, if they want you to succeed in the business, they'll take the appropriate steps again to go forward with their best foot yeah. and make it happen. Uh, and at the very least, they won't get in the way. You know, if because I have seen stories where spouses are not just don't want to join, they, they get in the way uh, of that success. And that is unfortunate. So at least if your husband could really, or your boyfriend could really understand um, and see, like I said, this is what I saw the consistency. I saw the results. Uh, those were the very uh, important steps to me. Uh, he wasn't jumping from company to company. That's another thing. You know, he stuck with one company. He, um, and because of that, he, so, you know, important is that at least have them be supportive supportive of your actions in the beginning, you know, and then you can try to get them to become a part of your team. I was going to say as well, there are going to be some times when the husband and wife is not going to be on board. We have a situation with some people where if I'm working with the husband, the wife may be doing another network marketing company and she wants nothing to do with Puriam. So you have to kind of just like leave that alone and work with the workable. You know, so, and it's okay. And if they're not on board, you just have to sit back and wait, be patient, right? Everything seems to fall into place, especially with Purim. Let them watch you for a while. Please don't beg them and try to convince them to be involved. If there's any type of pushback, leave it alone. Just do your thing. Shine, be your own star. Be a shining star. Just do, do your thing and succeed. Once you succeed, your partner will come on board if they're interested. If they're not interested, that's fine too. It may be a situation with some people today here on the Zoom where they're, they're just in this on you know in this on their own, and that's okay. So that's another, the other the flip side of the coin. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because we have plenty of couples that we know that only one person's on board and they're doing just fine. Can you do better if your wife or husband is on board? Of course, but that's not always going to be the situation, and it's okay. Yeah. I think that's amazing advice to give us the permission to be gentle with ourselves. Yeah. Be because I think as moms, we try to control the situation at all, at all levels. So to be gentle with ourselves and say, it's okay. By succeeding, this will show them. So I know Max is a teenager now, right? So you've gone through all of the, you know, the growing, the growing pains with him can you describe to us because i know you were talking about time blocking but can you give us more details how did you do it when max was little can you like give us an overview of you know his growing and how you were able to manage the business together well thank you well um so i joined when when i started to really take period more seriously 
it was right about the time when I started homeschooling Max. And right about the time we moved into this house and it was a lot of changes at the same time. Um, so I had, like I said, I gave myself permission to, to be flexible, okay? But at the same time, so this is my, my I broke up my day, like I said. I, I had him homeschool for a certain period of time. Then I gave myself a chunk of time. And that chunk of time needs to be a focused time. It's not a time to hang out on uh, Facebook. It's not a time to, you know, turn on your soap opera. It's a focused time, okay? But now somebody will say, well, kids are unpredictable. You know what I mean? Like, how do you, they could be interfering and interrupting and they're asking questions, which is what, my, look, and I can only speak as somebody who only has one, okay? So I know that I, I can't put myself in the position of somebody who has three, four, five kids, you know, but the focus time is very important. With that said, if there are interruptions, additionally, what was helping me is daily method of operation list which I had given myself a goal of, okay, today I'm gonna have three, three new contacts, three follows ups. Uh, I'm gonna do one, I'll touch base with my upline one. So I had like a list, okay? So even if my time blocking didn't work as good as I was hoping, you know, if things got in the way, life got in the way and you know and like my son but wanted me or needed me for something um then at least i i knew okay well this is what i accomplished on this list so those two things went together time blocking and daily method of operation list also i had learned how to you how to <laughs> how to take advantage of the fact that we have smartphones now you know we don't have a phone with a cord where we're stuck to the same, you know, place by the living room and by the wall, you know. Um, we are, we have smart. So I have in the past spoke with people while I was folding laundry, uh, while I was washing dishes, while I was cooking dinner. That's why we are women. We're multitaskers. That's just part of mm. our personality. I'm sorry, Joel, you know. I multitask too. <laughs> okay. Yes, he's multitasking. He's uh, sitting on the couch and talking. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm totally bossy. Hey, you have to be comfortable, right? Yeah. You're on the phone a lot of time. Yeah, no, I'm just totally bossy. He, he multitasks too. But the truth is, you know, that was, that was life, you know. And now it's not, <laughs> my son is old enough. He's a lot more self-sufficient right now. But he still needs my help because algebra math, okay, um, helps with some essays, the computer broke, the Wi-Fi is not working. Uh, right now, he's no longer homeschooling. He's now in a public school, online schooling uh, from, he, home. He, from home, from home. So he still needs my help. So this, what I've learned when we were homeschooling, literally homeschooling, I'm implementing right now into this lifestyle where he's now online schooling from home as well. So I hope that was a little helpful, but in truth of the matter is, I just wanna say again, like you guys, you need to give yourself grace because we are in a situation where we didn't expect this to happen. So, you know, the key is like Joe was saying, sometimes all you can do is just 30 minutes to an hour a day, okay? Sometimes that's what all you have. But the key is, is that you do it every day you know that is the key the key is the consistent steps instead of you know trying to throw everything five six hours of work one day and then kind of be totally wiped out for the rest of the week do these little consistent steps i mean we're awake 16 hours a day most of us so we could do one hour a day even with homeschooling amazing that's amazing advice. Okay, so I have a part, a two part question now. So I know Max is helping with the business. He's actually prospecting, right? Yeah. How amazing is that? So talk to us a little bit about that. And I'm very curious to know, after all of these years, who is supporting whom? 
are you supporting Joel or is he supporting you? Or are you doing this together? Okay, so <laughs> good question. So Max, um, because he was born into this business, you know, it's almost like has become a part of it. Like he'll, he found out this particular boxer is vegan. He's into boxing, uh, not boxing himself, but he's into watching boxing. And so he um, found out this boxer is vegan. So he's reaching out to him and telling him about the aminos. Um, I think it's part, it's just that he watched us for so long and we work from home. That's all he sees. He hears Joel on the phone talking about 99% okay. net nitrogen utilization. <laughs> you know, he hears like, oh, it's, this is the best, you know, superfood shake that you've ever had. Like it's so, part. It's it becomes a part of their, of if they hear you talk like that, it becomes who they are as well. And he takes the products himself, obviously, you know. So yeah, he talks to people when he he, he told them. I also had, you know, I, I'm not a huge person about cold prospecting, especially on Facebook, but we have done that on Instagram. So I actually gave him a little script and had him just send out messages to anybody who says health coach. So, so I have had him, I've had him do that because, and, and believe it or not, like he'll, he'll come and say to me, oh, here, somebody responded, what should I say? So I'm teaching him what to tell this person. So, you know, I don't know if network marketing is in the future for him, but the skills that the kids uh, yeah, I can share. We can share on my later. I can send this to Ted, the little script. The kid, uh, the things that, um, and Max is 15, the things that the kids absorb over time, they, it will help them become amazing entrepreneurs, amazing, um, you know, it will make them grow. They, by watching how you do the business, They'll grow. They'll grow as people. They'll grow as entrepreneurs. That's the most amazing thing. He was at convention with me. He sat times. next to me he, multiple times. He yeah. sat next to me. He listened to Tracy Pujikani talking about the color code. You know, like things like that was really, really um, useful for their growth. So, and the second question was about who's supporting who. So I want to leave that to you. I think it's mutual. We support each other. When I'm down, she picks me up. You know, when she's down, I pick her up. Even when Max is down, we pick him up. So we kind of work together as a unit. So it's kind of nice to kind of bounce ideas off each other. And like I tell Max, it's, it's all about residual income. You can do whatever you want, but make sure somehow, some way you get involved with residual income. And that's why he put together this YouTube channel. So he's thinking ahead. He's putting together his like digital portfolio or resume with his YouTube cha channel. Anyone that wants to know, they can look at it. It's mini max boxing on YouTube, mini max boxing. So he's getting like lots of content on there about interviewing. He's actually interviewing professional boxers right now. So he's setting himself up for the future instead of, you know, going around and mowing, you know, mowing uh, yards and just cutting grass and I mean, just that's exchange, good too. exchanging. Wanna... That's good too. We all need hard work. Look, I have a, I have a um, event at Versace next week doing airbrushing. He's coming. He's going to work with me. And I still do this just to show him you have to still do work. You have to learn trades and skills. But you could also build residual income with whatever you're – and he understands that. He sees the power and the leverage of it, us being able to – like he says to me today, hey, I want to go to Shark Valley. Let's go on – I'm like, sure, Monday, Tuesday, pick a day. Talk to mom and let's go to Shark Valley in Miami and you know, look at the alligators and – go around on some bikes and have some fun. If I had a corporate job or Jane had a corporate job or Max was actually in school, would we, would we be able to do that? No. So time freedom is the most powerful thing you could have combined with passive income coming in. So if you build your residual component to whatever you're doing and you have $500 coming in a month, $1,000 coming in a month, maybe it's 2,000, maybe you get up to 5,000. And if you really work this hard, 
you get up to 10 or 20,000. And then that's real income. Anyone here on this Zoom today could get to that point. Will it happen overnight? Absolutely not. Hard work, dedication, following the script. We have a system in place with the company, building, and the most important thing of all, which I tell, I always say to everyone, follow up or fail. You have to follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. I don't care if it's seven times. I don't care if it's 70 times. That's another one. So that's my quote, follow up or fail. I say it, my, I say it to myself. You think I feel like following up with someone 11, 12, 13 times? Hell no. But I know the fortune is in the follow-up. You have to follow up in this business. That's the second most important thing next to being consistent. If you could be consistent and you could follow up and you like people, like talking to people, you are going to go crown or above in this company. You just have to do it. It may take six months. It may take, take six years. It may take two years. We don't know. It's getting the right people on board. It's finding a Joel and Jane. It's finding Taz. It's finding people like us that love what we do. And we're willing to put the time into it every single day and make a full-time commitment. You're looking for people that are serious, really serious. It's not about sales. People still say to me, I, I present this to people. They ask me what I do on the pickleball court. I tell them, yes, it's a network marketing company. Oh, I, I'm horrible in sales. I said, that's great. You'd be perfect for this business because people that are good in sales are horrible in network marketing. They last about a month. They get burnt out. They go through their warm connections, their warm market. They put the gas pedal down all the way to the floor. And then they don't get the results they want. And they quit. Slow and steady. Steady Eddie is the name of this game. One step at a time. This is a get rich, slow program. I've been doing network marketing now for over, well over 25 years. And believe it or not, the first company I'm with, I still get checks from. And I haven't built that in over 10 years. So what does that tell you? Proof is in the pudding. Get involved, get friends involved that you care about. And look, people are scared to go to their friends and family and coworkers. Work those people, I tell them all the time, work with your cold market. Work through social media, post videos, reach out to people. Guerrilla marketing, you may have to go door to door with this. Mm -hmm. Even with COVID, put a mask on and... Go to your gym, go to cafes, go where they let you go in, talk and do a little healthy happy hour, set it up at your doctor's office or a yoga instructor, her house, or whether you have a trainer or a Pilates instructor, or you're into Reiki, whatever you're into. There are people, everyone needs what we have. People that are not into nutrition need Purium. You know why? Because we have Biomedic. Everyone intakes glyphosate. Glyphosate's on 95% of the stuff that we're eating right now. We need it. The gut is in such bad health right now of the average American. Everyone needs biomedics. So if you're not into health, this is exactly for you. If you're not into superfoods, you're not into green shakes. Oh, I don't like the taste. I'm not into that. Oh, I eat. I love hearing this. Oh, I already eat healthy. Oh, really? What'd you have today? I could throw up after I hear what they, what they, tell, what they tell me. I'm like, really? Okay. So you eat healthy? Okay. I'll leave it at that. We could still boost what you're doing by about 10, 20%. I love saying that. We can still bring your health to the next level. Can you use a little bit more energy? Can you use a little bit more sleep at night? You know, can you, I, I'm looking at you right now. Could you, can you lose a couple of pounds today? You know, so. Inevitably, they all say yes. Get them to say yes. Ask questions. My success has come through network marketing only by asking questions. Only by asking questions. The more questions you ask, the more successful you'll be. Okay, so that was an incre like, incredible call. Thank you so much. I know so many people have so many questions. So I will open it up to the field. Unmute, raise your hand. We will unmute you. And please, I invite you to come on, show your face, go on camera, and ask Jane and Joel your questions. I think we covered it. <laughs> we may have covered it. <laughs> okay, I have a question then. Okay, do you find this helped or hurt your marriage? A little bit of both. <laughs> no, no, no. 
it uh, okay so people need to be careful okay uh when they because it could it could hurt your marriage if you're not listening to each other if you're step because we have gotten into arguments because of this business because sometimes i feel like certain things need to be a certain way um and he thinks you know this is the different way and we're actually very different in a lot of ways in the way that we approach this business so the key is if you will uh have a partner join you make sure the key is that you give them space and you listen and also you, you know yes we are together but we're also two separate people don't get mad at each other if we didn't you know approach certain prospects to a certain way that you expected or something like that because it is it could be possible when you're so close to you, you know you could hurt you know you like to drop each other the wrong way but definitely make sure that you're still listening and giving each other space I just want to add I think, those questions. If you do happen to get into a fight, always apologize before you go to sleep. Always make up. Yes, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Right. Mm, I love that. Okay, I see we have okay. some questions now. Yes. So Sandy, you're unmuted. Go ahead. Hi, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm fairly new to Perium and I'm super excited always to jump on here and all the other Zooms. Um, and hearing you talk about um, the partnership that you guys have, how does that work business-wise? Um, I mean, are you guys like individual be uh, partner? You guys want to how does that work? Now, yeah, you were breaking up a little bit, but I think what you're trying to ask is yeah, we, we build the business together. As with one account. So it's one account. So we have, like, um, we have two separate accounts. And also, um, I don't know oh, what no. you meant to. Go ahead. I think she's having some connection issues. Yeah, but I think exactly she was asking. Ask in the chat, and then maybe Tez or someone else could repeat it. Yes. So let's just go to Christy. I think Christy has a question. I'll unmute her. Go ahead, Christy. Hi, um, Joel, you were talking about um, following up um, even, you know, over and over and over. How do you, how do you do that? Like I, um, I reach out to people and I don't hear anything back, even like good friends of mine. And it's just, it's just strange that people don't even acknowledge your message, you know? So um, I, I just am curious, like what that looks like to follow up over and over and over, even if you're not yeah. hearing from the person. There's so many different ways of doing it. I like to do it with asking questions. So the best way to do it is sending videos through the app. So when you start sending videos through your app, have you done that before? Um, you mean the Perium videos through the app? Yes. Well, I've, I've been taught to not send information initially um, to try to get people to, um, to say yes to information. When you talk to someone and ask them if they'd like to hear more about Purium or you want to bring your health to the next level, whatever questions you're asking them and you ask them, then I would ask them to say, you know, I would send the video. I'm going to ask them that, is it okay if I send you a video? Yeah. So once you get that, Yeah, that's what I do. So, but I don't hear anything back. <laughs> when you, so but she doesn't hear anything back yeah i would just do a follow-up question hey did you get my question i mean I'm, i asked you know almost like be a little bit like i call it decently bold even if it's a friend a family member a co-worker hey what's up you know question mark i called you know um is this something you not you know don't want to hear about like you could actually kind of step forward and just until you get an answer until they actually because okay. there's no reason for a friend of yours or you know someone you know not to give you an answer unless you're coming on way too strong you know, becoming on way too strong. I've done that before. You come on strong, people just ignore you and they just think that you'll forget about it. But if you're simply asked, like, give, can you give me a specific example of someone and just tell me what happened and I can tell you what I would do? Yeah. So, like, so um, a topic, there's so much to this. Follow up, you could write a, like a 300 page book 
on follow-up. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, it's not an easy thing. It's an art. Yeah. It's the yeah. art of following up. Yeah, so I just, um, so I'm pretty new to Perium, so I have a, a fresh story to share, you know, and and I just um, have been sending messenger messages, um, just, you know, briefly telling them um, my health journey um, since um, I started Perium, and then, um, you know, I'd say I thought, I thought of you because, you know, whatever, and then, um, and I thought you um, could really benefit from this product. Can I send you some more information? And I don't hear anything back. <laughs> Ooh, been right away. That sounds a little bit to me. I'm just looking at it as if you're my friend, you're saying this to me. Sounds a little bit like a sales pitch to me. Okay. So what do people do when, when someone's trying to sell them something? I guess they could, they I guess them. they could, they could shut down. Yeah. yeah. You know, you go into like Macy's and you're browsing around looking at some beautiful dresses and all of a sudden the, you know, salesperson comes, Oh, can I help you? We have this on set, you know, in your face, this is this for two for nothing, three, you know, come and roll the sales pitch. You want to just relax. You want to be in your own space. You don't want anyone bothering you. You know, I'm just giving you a, a specific example. So I would kind of rearrange that pitch and have you, you've done the ultimate lifestyle transformation? Yeah, I did two in a row and I lost, wow. um, I how lost many people, 14 how pounds, many did you lose? 14 pounds. Okay. So do you plan on doing it again anytime soon? Um, well, I'm on the core four right now, but I'll probably do another one in January. Okay. So there's a great pitch that you can do. That's not salesy where you're reaching out to 10 to 20 people by text and you're asking them, Hey, New Year's is right around the corner. I'm going on a whole foods, vegan, non-GMO, organic cleanse. And friends of mine, people who have done this before, have lost up to 30 pounds in 30 days, up to 30 pounds in 30 days. All your food is paid for at a very, very low price. So whatever you want to arrange it, we could talk about this offline and we come up with a great pitch. And you send, so you, it's like a call to action for your friends. Like who's willing to come on? We're gonna do this. We're gonna set up a private Facebook group. We're gonna, there's gonna be tons of support. Who's with me? It works. I'm so excited. So you share, you share your enthusiasm and your passion, even though you've done it, you're doing another one. Or you may just do the core four. While your group of three to five people are gonna start doing this, maybe in December, you might be doing the core four with them to support them, but you're gonna get five to 10 people. Mm -hmm doing an ultimate lifestyle transformation for 30 days by sending out 20 to 30 to 40 texts about why it's so cool and fun and innovative. And the best thing right now that anyone can be doing is this whole foods vegan cleanse. That's gonna be a total metabolic reset. It's gonna be incredible. You're gonna feel better than you ever felt before, I promise. And guess what? It even has a 60 day money back guarantee. Thank you so much, Joel. I'm so grateful that this call is recorded. This is amazing. Yes, we have so many you. more questions, but let's I need to pass it back. Let, okay. Let's pass it back to Steph. We have some <laughs> no one has <laughs> So I have to pass it back to our council member, Steph, and our chair, and she has some important information for us. Thank you so much, Joel and Jane, for being on. We are so grateful for all of your knowledge and information. Thank you so much. To you, Steph. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to tune in to you both. I've loved you both from afar for all these years. Jane, you know, we've been trying to hook up at <laughs> conventions over the years. And it's just really great to hear, you know, your authentic voices today. Thank you for making time to be here with us today. And I do hope that you will come back. So um, I even I had a question and I can't ask it. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up later. But I want to highlight for all of us who are a part of this movement, the way to grow this movement is to prospect with the business. Okay, the way to grow this movement is to find brand partners who are going to find brand partners who are going to find brand partners. And so I want to support you all in using what we have here, right? Running with the Million Mom Movement to grow your business. So how do we do that? 
Well, right now on our team, we have a business forward campaign. And so I want to support you all in leading with the business to the best of your ability, talking about what you're experiencing. If you have had a, a measure of success, talk about that. Talk about how it's impacting your life. Talk about where you're going with your Purium business, okay? And um, we want to we want to invite you to use the hashtag I am the Million Mom Movement. All right, that is our campaign right now. Whether we're talking about health or wealth, hashtag I am the Million Mom Movement, and maybe one of my council members can put that in in there. I want you to go live. As you know, we've got this widen your reach promo right now. Go live talking about what's going on with your with your superfoods business. Share your heart about what's exciting you, where you're headed. If you're exiting the dollars for hours paradigm like I did, I was just sharing in the chat box. Like when I really learned what residual income is, I never looked back and I knew that Purium was my ticket. So if you feel that and you're excited about that, talk about that and we want you you know in in widening our reach in becoming more transparent about what we're doing going live on instagram on facebook we're attracting our people to us the people those 865,000 women who have left the workforce we want them the people who um who don't have an exit strategy who've lost their job we want them we want them all so lead with this business. Thank you for being here. I'm going to hand it back to Rebecca Johns. Are you there, Rebecca? Yes. I am right here, my sister. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And thank you all the council, Joel and Jane, epic servant leadership example, and an example of how to incorporate your whole family and being empowered in health and wealth sovereignty. We've got more for you every Friday, except next Friday, because next Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the good old USA. So we will not have a fierce Friday on the 27th, but we will on December 4th when my uh, co-council member Carmela Velarde in Pennsylvania and I here in Michigan are going to be talking about transforming those winter blues to bliss. So if you or someone you know deals with that seasonal kind of funk, or maybe just the holidays, you know, this time of year can be very stressful, very emotional. There is a way to navigate holistically and naturally through this season. And Carmela and I will be happy to have that conversation with you. Remember the websites that were given to you today. Go to millionmommovement.info. Uh, Find us on Facebook, the official group and on Instagram. And of course, Jane and Joel have made themselves available. Don't jip yourself the opportunity to connect with masters of transformation. And that goes for us on the council as well. We're here to serve and forward the movement together. And we know that we can't do it without each other. We know that hashtag I am the million mom movement. We are the million mom movement. So we'll see you December 4th. And in the meantime, stay connected through social media. Have a blessed holiday, everybody. See you soon. Peace. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Happy everyone. Happy weekend. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for having us. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Go follow.